In this video, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Spring documentation. Spring official website is spring.io. Here we can see what Spring can do for us. So we got microservices, we got reactive cloud web apps, serverless, event driven batch. If you are not familiar with any of this term, like microservices, I would highly recommend to search about microservices and take a look at what they are. What we are interested in, web apps. So it's basically a framework for fast, secure and responsive web application connected to any data store. You can connect to Mongo or Postgres. This is what we're going to be building throughout this tutorial series. If you hover over on the projects, you will see there's a bunch of projects in Spring. We're going to be looking at Spring Boot. Let's click on Overview. Spring Framework comes with many different projects, like we have this Spring Boot, Spring Framework, which is a core framework, Spring Data, Spring Cloud. Spring Boot takes an opinionated view of building Spring application and gets you up and running as quickly as possible. Basically, this project is going to help you to do all the boilerplate code, which you would have to write if you're using the Spring Core Framework, but this will take away all that pain and then give you a project which you can basically run by one command. There are other projects like Spring Data, which provides consistent approach to data access, relational on non-relational, MapReduce, and beyond. One of the most important projects in Spring is Spring Security which protects your application with comprehensive and extensible authentication and authorization support. We will take a look at this project as well throughout this tutorial series. But first, let's get back to Spring Boot. I'm going to click on Spring Boot, and this will take us to this page, where we'll see some information about Spring Boot, and then here's a Learn tab and Sample tab. So if you click on Learn tab, you will have this API documentation. I'm going to click on that and open that in a new tab. So here is a Java style documentation all about Spring Boot. I'm going to always refer back to this. So basically, you know where to look for new things if you want to learn. So let's go back. I'm going to take you to this tab. Here is Spring Quick Start Guide. Here the official documentation tells us what you will need. So you need integrated developer environment. You need a Java JDK. There's always a debate about what is the best integrated developer environment for Spring. And if you like that kind of stuff, then let me tell you, you really need IntelliJ IDEA. It's the best IDE and it has the strongest support for Spring and for other various frameworks. We can also use Spring Tools, which is built by Spring Team, and Real Studio Code is there, which is a text editor. I'm going to click on Real Studio Code, and this basically takes us to the page where it talks about how to do Java development in VS Code. So basically, there's an extension that you can install, and also you can install Gradle Task Plugin, which will help you to run Gradle, which is going to be the build tool for Spring Boot Framework. Let's go back to Quick Start Guide. Next, we need to install Java. If you're learning Spring, I assume you already have a JDK installed because you cannot jump directly to Spring. You need to understand Java programming language or Kotlin or Groovy. Best way to install JDK and various other SDKs is by using a package manager kit, which is SDK Man IO. Okay, so it basically says this is a software development kit manager. And if you look at it on top, you have JDKs. I just clicked on that. And here is a JDK distribution list. You can download this Amazon Corrido. You got various other JDKs. One of them is OpenJDK. There you go. That's OpenJDK. That's what we're interested in. You can use this command SDK install Java, and you can specify the version for a JDK, and that will basically set it up for you. The way you can install man IO is by just going to install and then just copy this code command and paste it in your terminal. If you are on Linux, you need to install code. On Mac, code is installed by default. So just use this apt.get install code command to install it on Linux. I'm sure you already know that. Now I'm going to go to SDKs. 
And here's a list of SDKs that you can manage, install, delete using SDK Man. One of them is Spring Boot. There you go. So you can install Spring Boot command line interface using SDK Man.io. And this will basically help you to do all the types of things using command line, which is great. I'm going to open terminal. And here I'm going to type SDK dash dash version. So I type that, it says there's a new version available, which is 5.12.4, and I have this 5.13.0. I'm not going to update as of now, but if you will install SDK Man.io at the time of this recording, you should be able to install 5.12.4 by default. I'm going to press N and enter. Okay, so I've got that. I'm going to check Java version. And you can see I've got Java 15.0.1 is installed as well. Now these two things is re are required. You can also install Gradle. So if I do Gradle dash dash version, you will see I have the latest version of Gradle as well, which is a build tool. We'll take a look at what Gradle does for us in details. Okay, so in the next video, let's create a new project and let's use IntelliJ to basically run our application.